So I bought some new fish this week and I had something happen to me that I'm just getting so sick of. I just feel like fish breeders in general are kind of ruining the hobby. And when I say this, I feel like the hobby doesn't really have etiquette. And I think that there's gotta be some form of etiquette put into it. Like when you play around a golf, you don't have your shadow on their ball. And I don't know if it's just Australia, but what I'm talking about is Firstly, people and breeders only selling males or females of their fish. I've had this happen to me like this year alone, probably about five times. So I often buy fish, you know, I love fish. I've got a huge fish room, a huge fish farm. I still buy tons of stuff off hobbyists. There's often the place to get really cool things and definitely five times this year where I've bought fish and either received all males or all females. And when I order fish, I don't just buy like two fish. like especially if I'm gonna breed it, I'll buy like 10. They're for species where clearly it looks like I'm gonna breed them and people wanna gatekeep those fish and they just send males. And there's a handful of species where you don't want sexes mixed or you just want males or you just want females. And all the fish I've ordered, like clearly you'd want males and females. So it's obvious that people are intentionally doing this. Like, even with my zebra plecos, it's obvious now that I've grown them out for three years. I've spent thousands of dollars on these fish to eventually breed them. And for me, it's not about money. For me, I just love that fish. I really want to breed them and it costs that much. But I, I justified that transaction and I paid the price. I've gotten my zebra plecos up to adult size now and you look at them in a container and it's clear that they're all males. So someone's picked out of their batch all of the males sold them to me and kept their females. And it's just like, I just get so sick of this. Like I think the way I refer to this is, say we were doing plants, right? It's like selling cuttings of plants to people, but just taking the leaves and sending that to someone. Like you need the stem to grow the plant. And yeah, just sending males or just sending females, we're doing just that. Like I've never ever in my life intentionally sent males and females. There's probably been a few times where we've incorrectly sexed pairs of fish and maybe sent that, but like never on purpose. And it just really disappoints me, you know, like you spend 250 bucks on fish just to look at them. Like some people want that, yeah, all right, I get that. Like some people want only male endlers, but a lot of the time, you know, some of our most beautiful fish in this hobby, you need females to make the males look good. The males need something to flare up at. And yeah, the females might not look that good, but still sell them. It's not like you just breed only males and they're purposely doing it so they can continue to just swindle and scam people. And it's hard because I can't go into detail about the fish I've received and stuff like that because people start to realize who they are. But I just get so sick of this. Like by doing this, you're taking away the enjoyment for other people I'm not talking personally, like I'll get over this. Like it's not a big deal. I'll find females at some point. It's just disappointing to see. But like when I think back to myself as a kid, I used to do chores around the house to try and get five bucks. And if I did enough chores around the house, maybe at the end of a fortnight, I might have 25 bucks, something like that. I used to beg my parents to take me to the fish shop. And this really wouldn't happen at the fish shop because you can kind of handpick your fish, but like, Imagine I bought fish online to receive them and just realize that they're all males. And it's like a little kid wanting to breed their fish. These people will still send them only males or only females. Like I almost like try and think about that person. Cause like, I'm not complaining for myself. I'm saying that we need to, as breeders, acknowledge this and like call people up on it. Cause like, I'm not really in a position to, to be calling out people and it's not something I want to do. And you never know the true story behind certain things. And like at the end of the day, yes, I'm just talking about fish. Like it really in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. But I really want to enforce this hobby etiquette of like, if you're going to sell fish, you know, especially rarer sort of fish, do the right thing and sell them as you would want to receive them. Like it just, blows my mind that people can't put themselves in that position during a transaction. Like, think about you buying those fish. What would you want? Like, you wouldn't want to just get males. Like, 
clearly like a lot you'd be surprised how many people in this hobby now want to breed fish like that's the first thing i think that us breeders are doing to let down this hobby i've got another couple of things this second thing i think that i'm kind of i feel like i've contributed to and i've done this i think to the detriment of the hobby but i think money's ruined breeding fish i'm not saying this because i have a business like money i do this for free like that's it doesn't matter but people have got the wrong idea about breeding fish like for me it's always been seeing something happen in a tank like i've just i've never been really a massive aquascaper or things like that i've just loved taking two fish turning it into a thousand fish like I, I don't know what it is it just i find it very satisfying i love it and i think a lot of my old content and other people on youtube has started up this like making money off breeding fish and all this stuff and it's like got all these like people in who don't who think that it's about making money and yeah it's it's just not like all of my messaging from the start for breeding fish for profit has been of trying to provide hobbyists a sustainable way of having a hobby yeah i don't have a problem with people making money like good if you can make money off your hobby and have a fun time doing it like great that's awesome but it's been about giving people you know if you can set up a tank and you can breed some shrimp and you can pay for the food for that tank or you can pay for the electricity of that tank it means that the hobby firstly you're enjoying it because you're getting to breed something that's awesome but it's also paying for itself it's like the ultimate outcome and i think that was kind of like the thing that in those videos i'm trying mostly to get across like yeah you can make a little bit of money out of it and you can use that to upgrade but you can't make thousands and thousands of dollars realistically on fish without having huge setup and a lot of people have jobs they have to go they go to school they got to do all these different things yeah i mean breeding fish to make a living is very hard and very rough and i don't think it's something that a lot of people should be doing but yeah money just ruins things instead of it being about the fish it becomes about money and then people wanting to charge through the nose for something that they've got that no one's got or like it just creates this whole like market of oh, like it feeds into my next point the greed of some fish breeders so in australia i don't know if it's just australia i'm sure it happens all over the world but like people get very proud of their fish and that's good because you should be proud of your fish because at the end of it you you did the hard work of doing the water changes and everything like that but i think a certain fish species it becomes like their personality like they're like oh i've got this and you like wonder how people get things and i'm sure it's not in the right way but they get something rare and they sell only males or like they just want to gatekeep it so that it can be part of who they are and it's like this weird thing of like if we've got something and there's only a few of it spread it around so that like in case something happens to your colony then we've still got it because once we lose these things unless someone goes and collects them from the wild again they're gone or like some of these things are already extinct in the wild it's just so people can feel like they are important i don't know i think as breeders we are the heart and soul of a lot of people's fish tanks i think as breeders we have a responsibility to create amazing quality local bred fish and help to provide disease free fish which means that more beginners are going to have better experiences and we're going to have a better hobby for the fish's health and fish's safety it's better for the fish to go from your breeding tanks to the shop to the next person rather than go from like a farm overseas to a trans shipper to all these different people like it just creates abuse like i just think it's so sustainable if we have breeders in an area but i think as breeders we need to do the right thing and remember this is just a hobby we take this so seriously we want to be the best and we want to do all these things and it's yeah great but like i think at the end of the day it's just so important that we remember where we started and we do the things that we would want to happen to us like especially with the the gatekeeping of only selling males like it's just so disappointing so like if you see people doing this i think it's it's something that needs to really be like addressed because i just think in my opinion i think it's a scam a lot of the time if you've bred something you know it's males and females i think it's just i hate talking about stuff negative i've always tried to do the right thing by this hobby i love this hobby i love it i come to my fish room every day i can't wait to get here when i'm at home bored i'll say oh i'm going to take a day off I'll end up back here. I just can't I can't get over it. I don't want it to seem like 
this is me venting my feelings. I just think that we owe it to the people who are gonna take the hobby after us. Like we're not the only people who are ever gonna do this. So what experience can we like provide to that person who's coming in? Like if we've got this whole group of breeders who are gatekeeping, not telling information, not sharing fish, then like what happens to the new person who comes in who's just got a tank of guppies, they've bred, and then now they're thinking about getting something cool and then they just get swindled. Like, yeah, that's where I kind of come from. I don't, I, I don't like talking about things negative on this channel. I really want to spread positivity and hopefully that comes through. So yeah, it's just a little bit of a rant. I don't expect this video to do that well, but I just want to, whoever watches this, just be weary. I want to see this kind of end. It just happened way too many times for me to not say something and especially if I've got a small platform like I do, spread it to everyone and hopefully it's not happening everywhere. But it's something important to say because I just, I always go back to being a little kid and not having any money. And every time I got to get new fish, it was like the most exciting thing. And if, if I was swindled as a little kid or whatever, it was just so disappointing. So anyways, thanks for watching the video guys. Uh, sorry for a negative one this week and I'll see you guys in the next one.